a dear friend of mine who I've seen uh, succeed and fail and succeed and fail like all of us over the last 10 years or so um, reached out to me today and he was telling me about a real success that he had. He has a really good opportunity for success. And I told him, look, you've got to grab onto that and keep going. Keep going with that success because God wants you to succeed and I want you to succeed. So keep going. And he came back to me and he said, I've got this little roadblock and I think going to achieve past that roadblock. I think this is how I'm going to get past it. And he started to show me how he was going to spin a little web and he was going to be slightly deceitful so that he could get what he wanted because he felt like that was going to um, eventually bring him to the space that he needed to be. And he couldn't see it, right? He, because he was in this situation, he was unable to see that, um, that what he was doing was actually, you know, he's actually lying. And although it seemed to him that um, the lie was going to be beneficial because, yes, if it worked out the way that he had thought and he could get somebody to sign off on such and such, then in his logical mind, logic would bring him to the space where he'd say, okay, this will work out and I won't have to do such and such because I could get somebody to sign off on this. Here's the problem. The problem is, is that you end up trusting in a lie. You're trusting that by me pushing out this uh, falsehood that I will actually ascend and I will succeed. So I tried to share with them, look, you can't, um, you can't ascend by trying to deceive someone, even no matter how small that little bit of deceit seems to be, that if you're trying to say that, you know, this is one way when it's really slightly different, or you're trying to find something in one way when it's really not defined that way, um, then and you're trying to get others to sign off on that for you so that you can achieve something that um, you're try basically trying to bypass it, right? It's a test and you're trying to bypass the test. And you can't do that. You have to go forward in truth. God is close to those who call to him, who call to him in truth. We have to be pushing ourselves to be honest. So I'm asking my friend, do not be deceitful. Try to be honest. And that makes me think in my own mind, Chad, you have to be honest. I have to, whenever I have my prayer time, I have to be honest with the creator and say to him, look, I'm really sorry that I was angry. I think a great idea is that we write down, all of us write down our, our character traits, write down things that we uh, feel like we've done really well, and write down things that we need to work on. Um, in my notebook, what I need to have is I need to have a list that says um, anger, jealousy, lust. And I need to go back and I look at that list every day and say, how did I do in the last 24 hours in the area of anger? I know personally that this morning somebody said something to me and I immediately had a knee-jerk reaction that was angry. And I don't want that, right? That's not, that's not who I am. I have a habit of responding quickly rather than being patient and I need to spend time in personal prayer saying God please give me patience give me kindness uh, I see others around me that are not kind and boy it really bothers me the reason it bothers me is because I do it myself so I have to have to have to work on myself and I can do that I believe I can really make an achievement if I write it down and then every day I make that self-assessment. How did I do in the area of anger over the last 24 hours? I say, thank you God for giving me eyes to be able to see this area. Please forgive me. Please help me. Please give me kindness. I want to be a kind person. I want to have a habit of being kind. And I pray that you would give me, um, that you would give me ideas of how to be kind that you would allow me to see that when something happens, that you would allow me to, to stop and have patience for a moment. Think about whenever, that's, whenever those feelings come up inside of me and I start to get tense for just that moment, you feel, feel your little brush of blood that I, that I go, ah, oh, oh, you know what that actually is? That, is? that is God telling me I need to take a moment. It's not my body saying that and I need to respond. My, it's God telling me something. I need to hear that message and I need to take the moment and now I need to look for ways to respond in 
kindness and in generosity and to always put God's name in front of me and to be focused on him rather than on myself and to realize and obviously obviously to not take things so personal to realize that everything is for the best and when things happen they don't always they're not always happening um, like I could be just seeing something that's happening it does not I don't have to take it personal right and to realize that things are not happening to me they're happening for me <laughs> God willing we'll all have the merit to realize that so um, I really hope that my friend will will move forward in truth and I believe that whenever we um, when we engage that from below that God will help us from above because we are reaching out to him in truth so be be honest in all of your dealings um, that is the path forward be truthful with others and be truthful with God 100% of the time as honest as you can be and we're not talking about God don't don't uh, don't misread what I'm uh, saying here don't mistake it for me saying that that the truth is the truth is the truth and it's gonna be that way no matter what and let all the relationships around me fail but I'll be standing on my hill of truth that's not what we're talking about what we're talking about is you making an honest assessment of how you are doing in your daily lives with your personal character traits am I an ang am I angry I'm not an angry person but do I have a habit of being angry and now I need to be honest about that that's what we're talking about when we say God is close to those who call upon him to those who call upon him with truth it's not I'm calling upon you because I'm standing on my hill of the truth regardless of what other people think <laughs> no I'm standing here Hashem and I'm begging you to help me because I respond in anger I have lusts I have jealousy and I need help I am dust and ashes and I need you to help me please help me become the person that you want me to be give me kindness help me to respond in kind give me ideas that are kind give me a smiling kind face give me kind eyes give me um, the the ability to to always always move forward in kindness and not in anger and that my friends is being honest may we all have the merit to do so be well